Senator Jaffe. Honorable Senators, on December 6, 1989, 14 women were killed at the engineering school at Carl Polytechnic in Montreal. Sunday marked the 26th anniversary of the massacre. Our Prime Minister Trudeau attended the memorial for these tragic events. There he said, and I quote, it's a moment to remember and to make promises. Today I stand and I hope we can make two promises in, in memory of the victims of those tragic attacks. We now know the victims were targeted because they were women. The gunman was clear about this before taking his own life. He hated feminists and women's role in society. I am really troubled that this particular anniversary, because it reminds me how much work is yet to be done to elevate our own society to accept women as equal. The women whose lives were taken chose to attend an engineering school, a place not typically seen as a place for women. Twenty-six years later, we see many stories of the rampant sexism that exists in the growing engineering sector. In an age where technology is our future, we need to educate our society to accept and welcome strong women. Women have a place as leaders in all spheres of society, but it is not enough to encourage women and girls to become leaders, to pursue difficult fields, and to work hard. We must also create a culture that sees that as the norm and that is not against their success. To honor the victims, we must promise to promote gender equality in every sphere and recognize it is as much a man's responsibility to do this as it is a woman's. Second, I hope that we take steps necessary to end senseless gun, gun violence. In Canada, possessing and using a firearm is not a right or a freedom under our charter. It is instead a privilege. We must do all we can to ensure that privilege is never used to cause harm to our fellow Canadians. These are the two promises that I believe we must keep. These are the two responsibilities that we have to honor the memories of the victims of the Polytechnic Massacre. We owe it to the 14 women of Ecole Polytech and all the men and women who have been killed by gun violence. It is to them we have to stay true to our words. Thank you.